Okay, I'm in a mass family and I'm ready to do a revolve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm working in the 3D view. I'm, I'm under drawing a line. I'm making sure it says level 1. And what I'm going to do is place a option here. Let's say I, I want at least 10 feet head height. And then what I'm going to do is draw maybe this is a glass house or something. I'm going to draw a shape to represent the rest of my glass house. And close the shape. Now if, if I just went with that, that's the shape that I want to revolve, but if I just went with that, because the, the options are implied, if I did create form it would assume that I was doing an extrusion. So I really need to add an extra line and the, the way that I draw it, the direction that I draw it in matters um, in that if I if I draw it from left to right like this think of it as I'm pointing my thumb in that direction and the fingers represent the direction for the revolution so if I if I want to think of it as going like that in a counterclockwise direction because I drew it from there to there, it's counterclockwise. So now if I select the the line plus the closed shape and say create a form, it's going to sweep around like that. When I pick the form, the angle that the original sketch was at is zero. And so really what I'm doing is just controlling how far around it comes. And if I say 180, then I expect it to be like that. Okay, now if I, if I pick the form and I say edit the profile, I want you to see that I've got both the closed shape and the line axis remaining. If I were to pick this line axis, what I'm going to do is just move it off like that so that the line axis now does not run through the form, through the profile. Then what would be happening is it's actually revolving like that. Hope that makes sense. I'm going to control Z back. If if I were to try and change it like this, where it does run through the sketch, that won't work. Right? I'll get a, a message to the effect that it crosses the axis. So I'm going to just take it and I'm just going to move it back onto the line here and say OK. Revolve it around. The other thing would be that I can actually edit the the, the closed profile that's giving it shape. So if I say edit profile, if I were to do something like say delete this and I'm going to put in an arc and then say OK I'm done with that. Then I've got my my form that I wanted to create um, and I can see this form in 3D. So that's the revolve. Think of the things to remember are that the the direction in which you draw the line will affect the angle at which the rotation takes place. So if I draw left to right it'll go um, pointing the thumb along it'll go counterclockwise. If I drew right to left it would go clockwise the other way, the other direction. And the second thing was that you can edit the geometry even after you've made the form by going inside the form. Oh, one last thing I should have pointed this out if you want to be a bit more interactive is if I grab the form and I go back to my my x-ray mode you see that if I pick on the edges the the orange arrow indicates that I can change the beginning and end point of the slope. So if I were to drag that up like that, you see it says it's uh, it's uh, 21 degrees from zero. So I'm going to change that and maybe say 25 degrees. And similarly on the other side here, you see that I can pull that up to change the, the angle as well. So when I, I can see the orange arrows there I can actually manually go in and under the x-ray mode I can make changes in this. So I'm going to eyeball this back to about 0 and eyeball it back to uh, so or, or 180 and eyeball it back to about 0 but then to be precise on here I'm going to say start at, ze start at 0 and finish at 180 and you'll see the change
in the model there. And then uh, I always, when I'm using the X-ray mode, I always try and remember that when I'm done with it, I should uh, switch it off because I won't see patterns and things that are on surfaces if I'm in X-ray mode when I'm applying those patterns. So there's my revolved shape and I'm really ready to, to work with this.